Last night at 11, we told you how skimmers are targeting locally owned gas stations. That owner says he was stunned to find skimmers inside his pumps along Curry Ford Road in Orange County. We uncovered those pumps are being hit over and over again. But tonight there is some good news. Investigators in Brevard County are finding fewer of the illegal devices. News 6's Eric Von Aiken is here to explain how detectives are getting crime results despite this uphill battle, Eric. Lisa, Matt, most skimmers show up at old or neglected pumps because they're easy to break into and easy to hack into really easy. Watch what we found spending the day with detectives in Brevard County during a recent pump check. Many of the supposed to be secure pump housing doors weren't secure at all. Well, there's not even a lock on there. Some weren't locked. Some didn't have working locks. And look at this, some were held together with zip ties and tape. The keys are a joke. Agents with Brevard County's Economic Crimes Unit at the Sheriff's Office say you can buy them on the internet. And those red security stickers you see on the pumps, those are a joke too. Crooks just peel them off and put them back on, or they bring their own stickers and put on new ones. I don't think I've seen this one. So it was no surprise that investigators found not one. Pull the blue piece off and that's going to be your, that's the pin capture. But two skimmers on this day hidden inside the guts of the pumps, stealthily stealing credit card numbers all day long. This one has writing on it. On the same old vulnerable pumps, where they usually find skimmers. Often inside older, independent, mom and pop style stations without the money to upgrade the pumps to pricey, skimming proof credit card readers. The major retailers have the ability to, uh, to pay for it. The technology that's in there helps avoid the skimmers from being placed, helps to detect that the skimmers are being there, that the pump is being opened unlawfully. These small stations are among the last few holding out from upgrading. All pumps have to accept cards with chips by October or they'll be liable for fraud. Of course, the owners could also fix the locks or install new ones, but they haven't done that either, which is why detectives say the same old pumps are targeted over and over. Well, tell them they gotta, they gotta fix that problem. So finding only two skimmers, deputies say, is actually a good thing. It's a downward trend. When you think of the number of gas pumps throughout Brevard County and to just have two, um, we're very happy with that. That'll be where your pin pad attachment is. This is part of the reason for the decline in skimmers showing up. Deputies say more training and more checking. Check real good in there because they'll, they'll put a circuit board up in there. And also fewer and fewer of these outdated pumps. And look, we and deputies hate to single out those small business owners because, again, they don't have the advantage of a large corporate backing. But the truth is that is where credit card skimming happens the most. So if you're going to buy gas there, the only way to make sure your credit card is safe, since you can't open that pump and check yourself, right, is to go inside and pay that clerk directly with cash or credit. But that's so much walking. Eric Von Aiken. <laughs> <laughs> Good advice, though. Can't I appreciate that. And we have posted tips to avoid becoming a victim of skimming devices right now on clickorlando.com slash consumer. Anytime I'm at the gas pump, I'm thinking about stories just like that. Yep.